let's get rid of Windows Home and let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. New codes, new discount. You can get Windows Professional Office. Paste my code. Boom, it's Windows Pro time. Righto champs, tally ho. Now let's talk about these MacBook Pros, the 2018 15 inch MacBook Pros, talking the Vega ones, talking the ones without the Vega graphics, so any of the Radeon, you know, 555s or 560s, etc. Any 2018 15 inch MacBook Pro. Gonna be having a look inside, looking at the changes to the VRM. They've made some big changes there. We're gonna talk about quality issues with these MacBook Pros. <laughs> yes, I, I kid you not, we are seeing failures on these new keyboards with the rubber membranes. So that's a little bit concerning, but this isn't to scare you because Apple have the best support. So you're gonna be covered and I'll forever be thankful that, you know, I had a three, four month old, 15 inch 2018 MacBook Pro with an RX 560 and they let me return it for the Vega one. They gave me store credit, they refunded everything. They didn't have to do that. So Apple care for the win. And I'm actually gonna do a lot of videos using the eGPU in gaming, using a 2080 Ti, using a Vega 64, even in content creation to see how much of a difference it makes using an eGPU with these MacBook Pros. Stay tuned for that. So anyway, let's have a look inside here. Someone actually asked me to have a look inside to see if they've actually changed the motherboard. And the reason I opened this is because I was getting a creaking noise. And I had mentioned before, I actually returned three MacBook Pros, the 15 inch, three before I got a good one. That's one thing to know. And one of them had that clicking, creaky noise on the left side of the trackpad. Now, I just thought it was like, I don't know, a delaminated battery or something. I just returned it. I go, that click in will drive me insane. I'm not having this unit. But this unit here, it was almost perfect until it started making those sort of creaky clicking noises. And if I'll tap it in the middle on the underside, it would make like a crinkling noise. And when I would put it down, it would make a crinkling noise. And when I rested my hand on the right side of the trackpad, it would make a crinkling noise. I'm like, what is this crinkling noise? So I opened it up and I couldn't see anything so i'm like whatever so we've got a chance to have a look inside at the vrm I'll, I'll explain the changes they have made to this motherboard with the vega 20 but when i tightened it back up i couldn't find anything and i think what it is is because the macbook's so thin and i just pick it up with one hand and when i pick it up with one hand i sort of depressed the bottom panel in the middle and maybe i just talked it or just the weight and force on my fingers touching that bottom just pushed it in slightly it didn't look like it was pushed in but i just sort of bent it back into shape because that bottom panel is razor thin i don't even think it's a millimeter i think it's less than a millimeter it's so thin probably needs to be ribbed because once i tightened it up i sort of just you know pushed it out in the middle there tightened it up that noise went away so i don't know what's going on there that's the first for that one. But anyway, Ash from Vitudio, check out his channel, makes a lot of great stuff. He actually had a 2018 MacBook Pro with a keyboard failure. Yes, I kid you not. The ones with the new comdoms, the new rubber membranes, the rubber membrane cracked underneath the keys and they're still failing. So you will be covered for this, but if you had any concerns about the keyboards and thinking maybe they've fixed it with the new ones, well, maybe the failure rates are less, but they haven't fixed it. There's still issues there with the keyboard. So anyway, let's get inside and have a look at the differences here. And as you can see around the CPU, it looks all the same. There seems to be no difference around that CPU. Underneath the CPU, you do have the RAM there, but usually on the left of that, underneath the GPU, which is this section here, there used to be RAM there as well. This RAM or whatever is not present in the Vega 20 graphics. And as you'll see, the heatsink is bigger with the Vega 20. You can see it's taken up that space where that sort of RAM module will go. But I have actually seen a teardown of a 32 gig model of the 560X graphics models, not the Vega ones, but still 2018 MacBook Pro 15. And below the GPU, they still had those like RAM chips there. And that was the 32 gig model. Completely changed on this one with the 32 gig model at least. Basically the Vega 20 heatsink has taken up that spot. So obviously they've changed the RAM a little bit. There is no longer RAM underneath the GPU. And as you'll see around the GPU area, you'll see that the heatsink is bigger compared to the 560 model. So the heatsink is taking up that space where that RAM was and it's bigger. So the heatsink's bigger, so we should have better cooling. As they said, they got the cool quiet feature. Yeah, they've definitely done work just on the heatsink. But not only that, if you have a look at the chokes and MOSFETs around the CPU, they seem to be all the same. But if you look around the GPU, 
they're completely different. And if you have a look at the chokes on the CPU, you'll see that they say R15. On the previous model, they had smaller chokes and it said R20. Now with the Vega 20, the arrangements of the chokes and MOSFETs is different, but on the chokes, they're using the R15s that are on the CPU. Now I assume they're better quality or a higher capacity because they are bigger than the R20 ones. I don't know what the R20 is. I'm just saying what's printed on the top. So they definitely have bigger chokes they seem to be the same ones as on the CPU, so probably can deliver more power because remember that CPU can push over 90 watts when you run Cinebench, only for a fraction of a second, but it can do it. So they've definitely upgraded the power delivery there. So we're using different chokes, different MOSFETs. The choke arrangement is different. They're using the bigger R15s rather than the R20s. If you know what they are, please let me know. When it comes to the MOSFETs, they're definitely arranged differently. I don't know if they're any different. They're a bit small to see. I'm not going to get into that greater detail, please. If you know about it, let me know. But definitely the heat sink, the chokes have changed and the power delivery has certainly changed. So this is a new motherboard. And I've noticed that, that this one can sustain clocks for higher, for longer. That heat sink has obviously made a bit of difference. Obviously a new GPU as well. So anyway, there you go little breakdown there i don't want to pull it apart no 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 this one works so good and it's and it's been really cool compared to the last one i had so i'm not touching the thermal paste i'm not taking anything off if it ain't broke don't fix it so anyway i'd like to thank you guys for watching catch you in the next one tally ho